I am strong. I am different. I am unique. I am courageous. My name is Michael Cooper, also known as Toxic the Director. I am 26 years old, native of New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm a creative director, and I'm the owner of an entertainment company, MFAM Entertainment and Fans. Man, I've been doing it since I was about 14, 15 years old, so yeah, definitely over about 10, 11 years um, since high school, and you know, it's been my career ever since. Uh, I'd say some of my best accomplishments and, and, and most memorable experiences will be creating atmospheres and, and around the city of New Orleans, and not just New Orleans, but abroad, and also creating opportunities for talent to have their chance to be heard and seen. Um, a lot of times, people don't understand how important it is to actually develop the talent, uh, because they don't have any guidance these days. They think they could just run to the internet and see their favorite artists and think they can do that or replicate that, but they don't understand those big artists have uh, management and corporations and labels behind them that's guided them every step of the way. So, you know, being able to make a difference, uh, you know, with the people that, that want that opportunity and that chance. Uh, from New Orleans, I mean, you know, New Orleans is a bound city, um, culturally. So, I mean, from the Big Freedoms to the Sissy Nobis to the Katie Ridge, um, Master P, uh, been hired by, you know, Lil Wayne and things like that, and even Birdman, Cash Money. So, I mean, just being able to be a part of their projects and bring something of value to what they're presenting to their team. So, yeah, I mean, definitely. It's a lot of them trust the process, um, be willing to invest in yourself. Nothing comes free. Um, you have to be willing to put in the hard work. Uh, I, even myself, every day I push myself and I put in countless hours every day to say this is what I'm looking to do, this is what I'm destined to be. I do not want to work a nine to five under someone else's corporation, which is not a bad thing, but you know, my destination is to say I'm an entrepreneur, a CEO. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wake up and, and do whatever it takes to accomplish my to-do list for that day. So sometimes my to-do list may be five tasks, or it may range up to 50 tasks a day, but you have to be willing to, to accomplish as much as you can that day. And then once you have that checklist off and you've done all that you can, all you have to do is just let uh, let it take its course. And let it take its course. But um, yeah, you just have to trust your process and just do all that you can and believe in yourself. And whatever happens after that, just let it run. Um, my dad is, I'm so blessed to have him in my life right now. Um, it's, I, I do understand that a lot of people are not fortunate to have their dad in their lives. Um, or they, they may have not been around, but I'm definitely blessed to have my dad. Uh, both my parents, actually, but my dad is is a wise man that, that kind of gave me a lot of wisdom. Um, I remember waking up every day and seeing him, when I come to the living room, he'll be reading the newspaper. And I'm like, you know, that's your everyday thing. But I understood from there, that's where he received his information. That's, that's the knowledge that he then told me as, you know, being a young black guy growing up in America, like, this is the challenges that you'll be faced with because it was happening, you know, just from that newspaper that you would read and then, you know, instill that in me. So, you know, I mean, so many different quotes and, and speeches and things that he gave me, and I'm definitely blessed to have him in my life for that. I am a part of American history.